What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and so if you are familiar with the nerd culture and stuff, especially going on this weekend, we have San Diego Comic Con 2018 going on, so there's a lot of new stuff coming out and going on along with Comic Con, and so one of the things we especially do here on the channel is we do Funko Pops, and of course they release their convention exclusives for uh, Comic Con, which they do a bunch of different cons, but Com uh, San Diego Comic Con is their biggest one that they do, and so we got a bunch of different pops here, not many as, as many as we usually do, just because, you know, trying to limit down on what pops we do get, but we're going to go ahead and go through um, each of these sets, and um, just kind of show each one off, and just show what we picked up and everything so let's go ahead and get into it and so the first one up here we've got from star wars is the imperial patrol trooper this was from solo a star wars story if you saw that movie this is one of the imperial troopers pretty much the only time you ever see him is when he rides on a speeder bike chasing after han and Corellian stuff but he's on a speeder bike and he falls off but let's go ahead and look at it so here he is out of the box now and i think it looks really cool of course it's a bobblehead so star wars bobblehead so it's you know really shaking everywhere but i think this looks really cool so of course this is a take on the story Stormtrooper, as you can see, it does have a lot of like the original Stormtrooper look going on to it in design. But instead of just all the white as the original Stormtrooper, they threw in a lot of black, which I really like that. So you can see the black there on the back of the helmet going on to like the air things here on the side of its head. And then, of course, the front there, which looks a little like Darth Vader-ish going on there. Then down into the suit, it's got like very close to a uh, Scout Trooper outfit on the of course you see like that you know right the speeder bikes on indoor and stuff it's got like a very design going on like that so you can see you know we've got the white and all black going on mixed around in here again it's like they took the actual stormtrooper outfit that you know from the classic one and just painted different parts of it black and i think it looks really cool and then of course he's got a gun there in his hand and everything and i just think this looks really cool and i like the designs they changed to it i love collecting all the different uh, stormtroopers just to see all the different changes they make throughout the years and everything and I think this is a very cool one. Then sticking on with Star Wars, we got Cad Bane. So um, this was Hot Topic, so we're now moving from uh, Amazon now to Hot Topic. And so we got the Cad Bane here, and I believe this was probably from the Clone Wars because I thought he was in Rebels, so I, just, I thought maybe this was going to be from Rebels since they already did the Rebels set, and I have a couple of those pops already. I thought that was going to be, but I noticed like the yellow color and stuff they chose is a like much brighter color compared to the darker yellow that the Rebels have. So I'm wondering if this is going to be from the new Clone Wars set because I do know there's been um, pictures leaked and everything of the Clone Wars coming out of like Anakin, Obi Wan, stuff like that. Um, but nowhere on the box it does it say Clone Wars or anything, but I would just assume that is. But let's go ahead and look at it. So here he is, and again, this is a really cool looking pop. So of course, we'll start with the head up here, where we've got his giant like uh, sombrero type hat. I don't know what you'd call it, but his giant wide brimmed hat, of course, that he wears all the time. And then you can see his blue face going in there with his red eyes. I think that looks really cool. But you can see the like design of his face, and I think they did a really good job on that. Then of course has his breather parts and it's like his mask thing, so it's got the tubes that come back here to the back. And, you know has like a little tank going on back there then he's in his um outfit here so again he looks like a like he's a cowboy or something like a western thing and you know he's got the double guns in his hands you know he's just like a cowboy in the old west and stuff and that's what his design is kind of based on and looks and i think this is really cool he's you, you know got a belt with a bunch of different like bullets on it there in the middle and stuff and of course he has a like a sash type thing going over um with a backpack on the back of it and everything and I just think he looks really cool and they did a really good uh, design job on this again it's a bobblehead of course his head is like super heavy probably because of the hat and then the um, tubes and everything but it's super heavy and then with this bobblehead it's you know super wobbly and everything but I think this looks awesome then next continuing on with Hot Topic we've got the Dragon Ball Z dead Yamcha and so this is kind of a funny pop and they are messing you know with their new designs of like different you know laying down and stuff like they did with the um, Jeff Goldblum character from Jurassic Park and stuff so now we have a dead Yamcha laying there which we'll look at here. So here he is out of the box and I think this looks really cool and funny and stuff. And so here we of course have his head here and again it's Dragon Ball Z. I don't know much about Dragon Ball Z and stuff. And the box does say Dragon Ball Z. I wanted to make sure because you know when we've done uh, videos of these figures people always criticize I say the wrong thing and stuff. So I want to make sure the box says Dragon Ball Z so I'm saying Dragon Ball Z. But here we've got him laying down. Uh, but what I'm saying is I don't know anything about Yamcha who it is. It looks like Goku to me but that's 
what they all look like. So he's, you know, got his, like, the classic, like, uh, training outfit, I guess you'd call it, or, like, gi, that a lot of the Dragon Ball characters wear, the yellow, or, sorry, orange and blue color there. You can see he's wearing that, and it's got the um, yo uh, logo and stuff on his chest and everything that they all have on it there and stuff. But this time he's dead, so he's laying down, you know, all dead, as you can see, he's laying there flat on my hand. So he's laying down, you know, he's all beat up. He's got scars and everything on his face, cut on around his eye there. But I like how they designed this with the giant, you know, pop head, but then they added the hair to it to make, so he's got like a huge head full of hair. Like there, his head complete, or hair completely hides the rest of his body and everything. But then they attach it, of course, to the laying down body. And I just really like this design of, you know, having something that's like dead and like laying there. Of course, they could just be asleep, though. They didn't have to make him dead, but they did. So that's Yamcha. And so that's it for Hot Topic. And of course, we wanted to get the Super Saiyan Brawly as well. But as hearing stories from, you know, online and everything, that seems to be the pop that like everyone was after. And so people were buying them at, you know, the max amounts from Hot Topic. You had the limit of five and people were buying that limit amount. So they're probably just flipping them. And we have seen a bunch on like eBay and Amazon and stuff. So that's all people are doing, just buying them and then taking them home and selling them again, which then like people like us, we can't get it. So now you have to pay like 60 plus dollars or something to get one. So that stinks that uh, my brother wasn't able to get that because you know he collects all the Dragon Ball pops and so that's one he can't get now and so he's super upset about that but we're moving on to GameStop now our last place and so we'll go and start first off with the DC we got Red Hood here and so here we got Red Hood, so our Jason Todd character, of course, from Batman. And as you can see, he's got the red mask going on there, just completely um, a red or a red head and everything, except for the eyes there, as you can see, have the white and then, of course, the black around him and everything. Then going into his suit, since he is a Batman character, he does have the red, a red Batman logo there on his chest, on those like armor chest plate there. And then, of course, his brown jacket that he wears. And he's got his classic double guns, which I like how Red Hood always has the double, um, or dual wielded guns there and then of course going down on his pants he's got the holsters for each of them on the side of his legs there down into his boots and everything this is really cool it's a very simple pop but it's a much needed like I'm surprised they haven't made this already it's quite surprising that they haven't because Red Hood's a very popular character and everything but I just think that looks really cool then next up from Destiny we got the sweeper bot so if you've seen our channel stuff we've done all the waves of Destiny pops so far and so we've got this uh, sweeper bot to add to the collection so here is the sweeper bot. So this is just a robot. So this is, you know, a, a character that's in the game. It's just always standing around on like the towers and stuff. And it's just standing there just sweeping up the messes, just cleaning up the messes. So that's why it's got a broom there and everything, which of course the design, which I'll we'll look at here in a second, isn't that good on that. But as you see, it's just a um, robot. So it's got, you know, a giant head there. It looks almost like a giant, like uh, with these I assume to be eyes or could be lights, I don't know. On the side of it, it looks like it could be like a music player or something. But he's got the giant head there, then going down into the body, as you can see there, where he's got the two hands, you know, holding the broom and everything. He's kind of bent over and sweeping. He's got the broom down in between his legs. Now, the design part is this broom, which is probably just because um, of the plastic bending and stuff. The broom is stuck down in between its feet, so it's the furthest thing down. So if you try and like stand it, it um, the broom it causes some issues wanting it to fall over but it does have a stand though for it too that you can put on and then uh, so maybe uh, can position the broom out and then get it to stand maybe and so well kind of stretch the broom out maybe I don't know looks like the hole doesn't fit too big in the foot uh, but that I guess looks pretty cool it's just so you know a character that's not that important to the game or anything and kind of useless I think it's just a fun thing to throw in for Destiny fans so there's the sweeper bot and our last item we have is the Captain America Red Skull Dorbs 2-pack. So, of course, I like Dorbs and especially Captain America, which is the whole point of why I got this because it goes with my Captain America collection that I have. And so this is really cool, which we've already got a pack like this in the um, the mini, I forget what they're, Pocket Pops. Our puck, no, uh, I forgot the pit pint size heroes. That's what it is. We got it from one of the Marvel Collector Core boxes of a Captain America just like this with the shield, as you'll see, and a red skull. So it's kind of just they took those and turned them into dwarves. But let's go ahead and look at this. So here is the Captain America. Of course, I love the way Captain America looks, and I think this is really cool. And so I did notice like some of the detail designs. Um, so they've made it all shiny now. I don't remember the dwarves being like that. They're usually just like a flat paint, and now it's like real shiny which of course yeah you can kind of see it in the camera there the shininess coming off of it I think that's cool but here is our 
I believe they're the, called the first appearances of the characters. So here's Captain America, of course. So he's in his very like classic outfit there, you know, the old school version, which is always my favorite and stuff. But the thing that makes this one different is he's got a shield on. Usually, I don't think any other Captain America dorbs have shields. So I think that's what makes it cool. Then, it, of course, it is the, it's a, um, his original shield going on there, which I think is really cool. It's always one of my favorites. Um, so I like how they threw that in. And again, this is what they did the uh, pint size hero in. The Dorbs with the little tiny shield, or the pint size hero with the little tiny shield looking just like this. And then, of course, I like the wings coming off of his head. That's one of my favorite things about Captain America is his wings that come off his head and everything, and then you can just see it around. It's just the classic Captain America look going on there. Then, of course, we have Red Skull, which I don't like this very much. Like, I don't like the its look, but, of course, this is the original appearance Red Skull. But you can see his Red Skull there. It looks like the Red Hood we just saw a little bit ago. But I like how they did do the indentions going into his head, like, to look like a skull. As you can see, you know, the points for the, um, like, uh... Uh, cheekbone and stuff there then of course the temple indentions and everything going on there then the eyebrow raised above the eye there so I like how they did that at least to it um, they of course gave it like skeleton looking nose and eyes and then the teeth and everything and then he's just in a green outfit there with the like a white undershirt going on he's got white gloves and everything so he's very plain and basic dorbs again um I like Red Skull because he's a villain of Captain America, but actual Red Skulls I don't think it look very good usually. And so Captain America is pretty much the only reason I got this set, but I think they're both really cool together. So that is all the items that we have for today. Now we do also have the vinyl of uh, Skeletor and Faker from Target, the Target exclusive for the Comic-Con. We were able to get that, but of course we had never arrived in. So that's why we're doing this video a few days later than I would have liked, you know, to have you know up-to-date stuff or whatever for comic-con but i was trying to wait for that and of course when this video goes up on monday that's the day it's supposed to arrive because it's sitting at the post office now but since the post office doesn't work on sunday of the recording of this the we don't have it so i was hoping to wait we would get it before then but it's taking so long so i'll put a picture of it right here and so as you can see, that's, you know, would be a cool set. And we um, continue on with our vinyl collection that my brother's getting of all the He-Man characters there. So it's cool that we got that to go along with it as well. And so, yeah, the only th other thing we didn't get was that um, Super Saiyan Broly, which, of course, my brother's super upset about. And we keep trying to find one for a cheaper and good price and everything to get one for him. But I hope you enjoyed this video of our SDCC 2018 Funko Pops. Let me know in the comments down below which item is your favorite out of this or what pop that you got is your favorite or were you wanting to get if you were like us wanting the brawly and didn't get one because you know a lot i know a lot of people didn't if you wanted that let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos and we'll see you next time